Hello everyone. In this video we will learn detail about the semester grade point average that is SGPA and cumulative grade point average that is CGPA in credit based semester system CBSS. First of all, let us discuss what is CBSS. Under the CBSS system, the requirement for awarding a degree or diploma or certificate is prescribed in terms of number of credits to be completed by the students. Now, what is credit? As per the this CBSS system, the academic achievements of a student is measured in terms of credits. Credit is a unit by which the course work is measured. It determines the number of hours of classes instructions required per semester. In case of theory and tutorial classes, one credit is equivalent to 15 classes in one semester or 15 contact hours in one semester or 15 number of classes. So, in a paper of 4 credits, there will be 4 into 15 which is equal to 60 lectures and tutorials, each class having 1 hour. While in case of practical classes, one credit is equivalent to 30 contact hours in one semester. That means, if there are two credits in a practical class, then you will have 60 hours of practical class in a semester. Now, let us see the examination and assessment pattern. The performance of a student will be measured in terms of letter grade in CBCS system. The letter grade is actually an index of the performance of students in a set course. The grades are denoted by letters O, A+, plus, A, B+, plus, B, C, P and F. There is a grade point associated with each letter grade. Grade point is a numerical weight allotted to each letter grade on a 10-point scale. In this 10-point scale, if a student secure a marks in a paper in the range, 90 to 100, then he or she will get a letter grade O, and for that, the student will get a grade point of 10. Likewise, for the marks in the range, 80 to 89, it is a plus letter grade for which, the student will get a grade point of 9. Similarly, for the marks in the range, 70 to 79, 60 to 69, 50 to 59, and 40 to 49, the letter grades will be A, B plus, B, and C respectively, for which, the student will get a grade point of 8, 7, 6 and 5 respectively. But, below 40 marks, it's a F grade for which the student will get 0 grade point, that means fail. For example, if a student secure, 72 marks in a paper then this mark falls in the range, 70 to 79, so, he or she will get a letter grade of A and the grade point will be 8. Is it clear? I hope so. Now, the grade point of a student in a paper will be converted into credit point. So, what is credit point? Credit point is the product of grade point obtained in a paper and the number of credits for that paper or course. Then the credit points obtained in all the six papers in a semester is added to get the total credit point. Finally, the overall performance of the student in that semester is measured in terms of the semester grade point average, that is, SGPA value. SGPA value is a measure of performance of work done in a semester. It is the ratio of total credit points secured by a student in various courses registered in a semester and the total course credits taken during that semester. It shall be expressed up to two decimal places. Let us see how to calculate the SGPA. For example, suppose a student have six papers namely major paper 1, minor paper 1, IDC or MDC, AEC, SEC, and BAC paper having 4, 4, 3, 2, 3, 4 credits respectively and the student have secured letter grades of A, B+, B+, B, B, and B respectively. Then, the grade points for major paper 1 will be 8, minor paper 1 will be 7, IDC or MDC paper, 7, and that for the papers, AEC, SEC, and BAC paper, will be 6 each. 
Now, the credit point for major paper will be 4 into 8 equal to 32. The same for minor paper will be 4 into 7 equal to 28. And for IDC or MDC paper, it will be 3 into 7 equal to 21. And that for the papers AEC, SEC and VAC paper will be 2 into 6 equal to 12, 3 into 6 equal to 18 and 4 into 6 equal to 24. Thus, the total credit point will be 32 plus 28 plus 21 plus 12 plus 18 and plus 24 which is equal to 135. After that the SGPA is calculated by dividing the total credit point by the total number of credits in that semester of all the papers. Thus, in this example, the SGPA is equal to 135 divided by 20 which is equal to 6.7. In this way, the SGPA obtained in all the semesters is calculated. Finally, from the SGPA, a cumulative grade point average that is CGPA is determined. The CGPA is the measure of overall cumulative performance of a student over all semesters. The CGPA is the ratio of total credit points secured by a student in various courses in all semesters and the sum of the total credit of all courses in all the semesters. It is expressed up to two decimal places. For example, suppose, the SGPA obtained in all the semesters by a student is like this, semester 1 6.7, semester 2 7.8, semester 3 6.4, semester 4 6.0, semester 5 7.5, semester 6 6.7, semester 7 6.9, and in semester 8 8.0, then, the CGPA will be, 20 into 6.7 plus 20 into 7.8 plus 20 into 6.4 plus 20 into 6.0 plus 20 into 7.5 plus 20 into 6.7 plus 20 into 6.9 plus 20 into 8.0 divided by 160, which is the total credit. This implies that SGPA is equal to 135 plus 156 plus 128 plus 120 plus 150 plus 134 plus 138 plus 160 which is equal to 1121 and 1121 is divided by 160 then we will get 7.0. That means, the CGPA of the student is 7.0. Dear students, you can now understand SGPA scores in your mark sheet and prepare your courses keeping an eye on your SGPA in each semester, so that after the final semester, you will secure a respectable CGPA score. I hope this video will be very helpful for you. All the best. And thank you.